Greetings to our current juniors who are our rising seniors, the class of 2022. This is a video about how we're going to begin the registration process for your senior year. Um, I'm going to teach you about how to complete the Google form that you're going to receive through your email through a school messenger. So when you receive this email, please don't delete it. It's a very important email. The Google form needs to be completed by February the 15th. Now, don't worry, because after the Google form closes on the 15th, the school counselors are still going to have several stops in place. We're going to go behind. We're going to make sure that all of our seniors are um, registered for the courses that they need to graduate. And we are going to print out hard copies to mail home of your registration. And then you are going to have plenty of time to inform us of any changes. And we'll make sure that any changes that you make do not affect your um, diploma status. And if they will, we'll let you know. And so you'll actually have until June 25th to make any changes. But the Google form that you're going to receive through your email is extremely important that you go ahead and complete this. Again, it is going to be due by February the 15th, okay? So if you're a hybrid student, you have hopefully already received a copy of your registration guide, okay? If you're a 100% online student, you are welcome to come by the school counseling office and pick up a copy of the registration guide. Just make sure that you wear a face covering when you come in the building, come to the school counseling office, and we'll be happy to give you a copy of this. If you're not able to come, or if you are not comfortable coming into the school, then on our school website, on our school website right here, on the very first page on the home page is a link to an online registration guide. So it's right there, so you can access everything online. So it has the same contents, it's just missing the really cool cover and that cover, but otherwise everything else is the same. And it's going to give you a lot of good information at the beginning, talk about different diplomas. It's going to give you a course description of everything that we offer at Salem High School. It's going to indicate whether it's a semester class by whether it has a 0.5. If it's a full year class, it's going to have a 1.0. It will tell you whether or not there's a prereq. For example, for advanced drawing right here, you have to first have taken art foundations. So you can't sign up for advanced drawing unless you've already had art foundations. So you're going to see the prereqs. You're going to see whether or not the course is weighted, whether it's offered for dual enrollment and a course description. So it's very important that you either um, look at the online registration guide or the hard copy of the registration guide. Okay, so through your school email, you are going to receive a link to a Google form for registration. And on this Google form is a lot of important information that you should sit down and talk to your parents about and make sure that they are a part of the decision making for your senior year. Okay, so as part of that process of preparing, because you can only fill out this Google form one time, and also it doesn't save your work like you can't stop and come back to it. You have to do it in one sitting. You want to be prepared. Okay, so one of the things to do is to go to page 33 in the registration guide, and there's a worksheet to help to make sure that you're selecting the right number of classes. Because remember, we have a seven period school day, which means in most cases, you're signing up for seven credits. Also, there's a list of all the electives offered at Salem High School on page 42. So that's another important page for you as you're preparing for the process. And then on page 40 and 41, because as you become a senior, under each area, there seem to be more and more options for you. And sometimes it's confusing to know what is the right next level for you to take. So if you turn to page 40 and 41, 
in the registration guide, there is a chart that has a sequence of courses. So based on the math that you're currently in this year as a junior, what are your options for math for next year? And so that's what those charts will do on page 40 and 41. Along with the sequence chart, please make sure that you're communicating with your teachers of your core areas, asking them what they recommend for you. If you're hybrid, you can certainly do this in person. If you're online, email your teachers, email your math teachers, say, what math do you recommend for me for next year? Okay, because we want to make sure that we get you registered for the classes that are best fits for you. All right, so you're going to get the email. You're going to click on the link to open the Google form to register for your senior year as the class of 2022. The first page, that valuable information to review with your parents, and then some basic demographics that you need to complete. So I put in, I went ahead and I filled this in, um, except student number, that's a fake student number. Um, that's not really anybody's student number, but I needed to put something in in order to get to the next page. That is gonna review the two major diploma types in the state of Virginia, the standard diploma and the advanced studies diploma and what each requires. So what I need to indicate on this page is which diploma type that I'm working towards. So I am at this point still working towards an advanced studies diploma. Okay, so that brings me to English and there's a lot of options for English for your senior year. So you need to um, look over these, read the descriptions in the registration guide so you know what you're signing up for. Keep in mind that college prep, IB1, and IB2 have to have um, summer reading assignments completed by the first day of school. So you need to be really honest with yourself. So you get your teacher recommendation and then you need to be honest with yourself about whether or not you're gonna complete summer reading work and to make a good decision for yourself, okay? And of course, to take IB English 2, you have to have had IB English 1 first. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click that one. And please, one thing to keep in mind is that you're, you're making a preference for either general English or college prep. But if it doesn't fit with your schedule with your other course requests, and you've indicated this one, then we're going to the computer's going to register you for the other one. Same thing with college prep. If you pick one and it doesn't work with your other classes, it's automatically going to put you in the other college prep. So just make sure that you're aware of that. You're indicating your preference though. Okay, so next, after I chose my English history, most students need to take U.S. Virginia government as a senior. Government is a requirement for graduation. Now, the exception would be is if I took AP US Virginia government um, either my sophomore year or my junior year. And then, so I was going through a more rigorous sequence of social studies, that's the exception. But if you haven't had government, you need to take government. When in doubt, make sure you talk to your current social studies teacher or email your school counselor. Science, okay. So for the advanced studies diploma, you need four sciences and we have earth science, the categories are earth science, biology, chemistry, and physics. And when you're on an advanced studies diploma, you have to have what I like to call a sampling of at least three of the sciences. So if you've sampled our sciences, you did earth science, biology, and chemistry, then your four science is your choice. You can do another course that falls under um, biology like anatomy, for example. So if you've done for some reason two courses that were in the same area, then we need to make sure that fourth is of a different type of science. Okay, for a standard diploma, you only need three sciences. So talk to your current science teacher. Let's see, I'm going to say that I did earth science, as a freshman biology, as a sophomore, then I did chemistry. So I think I wanna do anatomy. So I'm gonna do anatomy for my senior year science. Okay, so now math, and there is a long list of math classes. Um, so which math that you should take is based on which math you're in right now and, and how well you're doing, of course. So you wanna have um, some communication with your current 
math teacher. And again, the sequence chart on page 40 and 41 will tell you based on the math that you're in next year, which math can you take next year or what are your options? So I'm gonna say that I'm currently in, oh, I'm gonna say that I did algebra one after geometry and that I'm gonna take algebra two as a senior. So I'm gonna choose my math. Okay. All right, so in Virginia, you have to have two units of health and two units of PE. Most of the time, all of our rising seniors have met that requirement, but if in doubt, reach out to your school counselor and ask to make sure sometimes if a student transferred in from another school division, um, they may be behind in a, a health or a PE, or if something didn't go well, if a student didn't pass one of those credits, they may need to take it their senior year. So just make sure, but I'm gonna assume that I'm all good, but if I'm in doubt, I'm gonna reach out to my school counselor. World languages, okay. So for an advanced studies diploma, you have to have either three years of the same world language, one, two, and three, or two years of one and two years of another. Okay, so if I'm on a standard diploma, then I can just click no world language, okay? If I'm on an advanced studies diploma and I'm currently, let's say, in French three and I'm doing really well, I have an A or a B, at the end of French three, I will have met my advanced studies diploma. So I don't have to take world language. I could click no world language. But let's say I'm really liking French and I want to go on to IB French one. So I would select IB French one. So make sure that you're checking your registration guide. All righty. Okay, student support. If you have an IEP and receive a resource period, or if you receive an EL resource period, here's where you indicate that support. If not, click no support and click next. And that brings us to our electives. Now, this is where um, page 42 comes in handy because it's a list of all the electives that we offer. Okay, um, remember again, we have a seven period school day because as you look at these electives, it's gonna be like, oh, that sounds good and that sounds good and that sounds good. And sometimes we have students register for like a 10 period school day. You gotta keep in mind whether or not your electives are semester or full year. Okay, most of the time, um, students are registering for seven credits because we have a seven period school day. There is the, an exception. If you're a marching band color guard student and you register for marching band, then you're gonna have seven and a half. Um, there's a few other exceptions, but for the most part, everybody is registering for seven credits. Another thing to keep in mind is that um, in order to graduate in the state of Virginia, whether you're on a standard diploma or an advanced studies diploma, you have to have taken and passed a course called personal finance and economics. So if you have not taken that course and passed it yet, and you're currently not in it, you need to register for that for next year. So I'm gonna pretend like I still need econ and personal finance. Okay, so I'm gonna register for that. And let's see what else. I think, let's see. I think I'm gonna be a band student and do marching band. So I have social studies, science, math, and English. I've got my world language and I need to take personal finance and econ and then my band class and that fills up my seven period day. So when I'm registering for these other areas, even though there's so many areas of interest, um, I click no, all right? So that I don't accidentally register myself to be here until six o'clock every night. Um, okay. So I'm gonna click personal finance and economics because I haven't had that yet and I do need to have that to graduate. All right, for everything else, I'm gonna click no until I can find band, which is gonna be under performing arts. So let's see, almost there, performing arts. Okay, so we have some um, electives under performing arts, by the way, that are audition. So make sure that if you're signing up for choir, let's say, and you're not in an audition group already, that you pick concert choir. Now, you certainly could still audition in the spring, and if you get selected, then we will switch you to that other choir, okay? So for the um, purposes of registration, though, you would go with concert choir. The same thing with 
um, band. Let's say I'm in concert band, but I plan to audition for symphonic band. I'm hoping to get into some symphonic band. I'm planning to audition, but for today, I need to go with concert band until those auditions take place. And then uh, between the band instructor and the counselors, uh, it will be changed in power school. Okay, and then of course down here are some more, another audition course right here. All right, so I'm gonna go with concert band and I am gonna do marching band. So that actually fills up my day. And so for everything else, I need to go through and click no. And let's see, I'm almost there and next, okay. Now, this is the part where it takes a little bit more work because you can't just click. Okay, so we know that sometimes electives don't work out. And so if the electives don't work out, we need to know of three other electives that you would still be happy with. So I'm gonna look at my list on page 42 in marketing, full year, that sounds good. So I'm gonna put that in and maybe I wanna go with a semester elective, maybe psychology sounds good. And because I like psychology, um, I would probably like sociology as well. Um, so those are the three alternates I'm gonna put in. Again, those are alternates, classes I would be happy with if I don't get my first choices of electives and click next. And we're almost done, I promise. All right, so then the online academy, whether or not I'm interested in that and then an opportunity for me to put something down if I want my counselor to know something, but you're not obligated to write anything there. So you can click no. Um, all right. And then whether or not you wanna have a meeting. Now, keep in mind that when we get um, your Google form answers, we're gonna check and make sure in our offices, we're gonna check and make sure that you are registered for the correct courses. And if you're not, we're gonna reach out to you. And even if you are registered for the correct courses, we're going to print out everybody's individual registration and mail these home. And then from that point, if something changes between now and the end of the year, you have time ample time to notify us through email that you want to make a change. You actually have until June 25th. Now, June 25th, that's when everything is, is firm, okay? So uh, please don't worry. We are checking. We are making sure that you are going to be in the right classes um, to graduate in June 2022. So, um, but if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Now, I'm not going to submit this form because um, I already graduated from Salem High School in 1990, so I'm not going to sign up for a senior year again, but if there's anything that we can do to help you out, please let us know, and I hope that this has been helpful, and if you have any questions, please reach out to us, and we hope that you have a wonderful senior year next year, and forever Spartans.